hello 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 welcome back to our channel this is the light and mom channel so i want to sincerely welcome each and every one of you both the old and the new members welcome to a big family as this okay so today we are making catfish barbecue and some other stuff but i want to show you guys how i make this my delicious catfish barbecue it's like a, the simplest way you can ever see non-complicated okay i use this for business this is actually a client order a client which to me earlier and they wanted catfish barbecue so i just went ahead i actually i don't even take like one piece order but because it's going to give me the opportunity to make this video for you all i went ahead to take this order okay that means i'm doing this for each and every one of you watching this right now so please learn something okay so um in this bowl in this plate i have um like chopped pepper um what i did because i don't want it to be like very very spicy but i still want the fish to as to have like a, a stewy uh, texture i added some shobo to it okay i don't want to use all around um, pepper i don't want it too hot I, I want them to enjoy the fish other than just doing and all that so over there you can cite my fish i've already gone ahead to cut them to cut it like to sear it a little so that the old ingredients will get inside so i'm doing my mix in this uh, mix i the shobo and pepper mix i added um seasoning powder salt ginger and garlic which is one very important ingredient you must add when you are making catfish fresh catfish okay it brings out all the good taste in it so i just add the normal normal the only thing that you are you are seeing for the first time i'm adding is the magic uh, all-purpose seasoning that's just one of the seasoning i bought recently so it's no big deal okay what you actually need is um seasoning powder or cubes then uh, salt um uh, fish seasoning or crayfish okay i use my lasso fish seasoning of course then you need your um what's it called ginger and garlic so that's basically all so i went ahead and add some vegetable oil to this mix this vegetable oil um not really much just uh a few drops okay so what this does is stop your fish from sticking to the foil that you are going to be wrapping it in so i'm going to show you what i do to the foil as well but that's just like to give it this moist uh feel you have to, you, you need to add the vegetable oil so now i'm going to assemble my foil what i'm going to do i'm going to spread it on the table right now i'm going to like i i measure the uh fish length that's and uh, that will tell you like how long you want to set your foil so i've already done that i'm going to spread my foil on the table and i'm just going to follow on with what i'm doing okay so just after spreading your fur what you want to do next is to um add some vegetable oil directly to the fur okay when you add you just use your hands or a brush to spread it so this also don't let the uh, like what it prevents the fish from sticking so uh, like in this um process i'm going to be uh, opening the fish because it's a platter okay i'm not going to just like leave it closed in the fur and send it out i'm going to open it so if i don't go through this process while opening it i'm going to like the fish is going to start breaking or the skin is going to start um, going off and all that but when you add vegetable oil to the fur you get everything easily okay the fish doesn't stick so now i'm just going to add um straight up i'm just going to add my mix my pepper mix okay so what i went to get was nylon because i can't actually get my hands in there i have a child at home so just in case i want to beat her i don't hurt her so um yeah so this fish this fish i don't know i i as in i i, I can't believe that the fish have actually hit hard i've opened the skull or i've even cut in pieces it's still moving it's still moving this fish wants to fight me eh it wants to fight me fish that i use my money to buy eh and this is not even the first time fish like this is fighting me i don't know it's only in fact even when i do prepare soup i don't know they say catfish have nine life this one as in i don't even understand it's not even all the footage that i put here this fish this fish actually fought me eh i don't know 
Charlotte's continue. So what you want to do, you want to make sure you put the pepper in every single corner. You put it in the brain, you put it in, you know now, like the head is my favorite part. So when I'm making my own, I always make sure I season the head very well. So you want to put, you know those uh, lines that you put on the fish. You want to use your hands to massage the fish, like make sure the whole thing is inside. You get, at this point, I have not even set my shako. The reason I'm doing this before setting my shako is to give this like five minutes to marinate a little though you don't really need it to marinate but in this process i want as in i just like to go with it this way instead of setting the fire and just putting it immediately after i do this and then set the fire so it just like marinates a little so this is me adding just on some onion like i've already blend some um onions together with the pepper but i still just want to like garnish it with some onion and that's all that's all like there's nothing i put in this mix that people are not aware of everything you see is what i did so um like this is everything okay so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to wrap see how i wrap it okay please look you want to wrap from one side you want to make it tight you see you see how i talking the the first uh, wrap i i picked huh you want to make it tight so from there you start going you get so this is a very very simple simple thing okay so next you want to seal the end like that is the tail you want to seal the fur just so that when you are grilling in your charcoal stand the the liquid or the whole ingredient don't start pouring out though sometimes your fur paper might even get torn but don't worry sha everything is still good so this is me setting up my charcoal like i said i haven't set it up before you remember when they said where yeah, there's smoke there's fire so this smoke was giving me hope i had to start fanning like, like breezing it so the shako can burn and give me what i need and it took me some minutes but then this is it so guys i want to tell you how you know your fish is ready the moment you put your fish on the charcoal everything just gets hard like it's stiff up okay so once it's it start getting soft like when you touch it and it start getting soft just know that that part is ready or it's cooked so just start flipping until everything is soft so back inside the house the fish is 100 percent ready i'm sorry i didn't take you through all the process of the grilling that's because i was busy making some pomodoro and um fruit salad and some coleslaw fried yam and other stuff so i just left it to cook easily on its own so this is it you can see how beautiful and how stewy how nice this thing looks okay so um like this is this is how it should be this is how you enjoy your fish so i'm just going to add some of the sides like i said this is a platter okay so i made some fried yam while this was grilling i'm just going to add the fried yam to the sides yeah and some coleslaw is going to decide as well shall just enjoy how i assemble this whole thing and also this is like the pomodoro the person ordered uh, pomodoro he, he actually wanted gizdodo but then i couldn't get gizzard and i reached out to him and he suggested that i should go ahead with pomo so i just did it like garnish it one way or the other and it was really really nice it tastes really really good of course you know whatever i make this look at how it looks now look at it so so guys that is it so i'm just going to mix like um i made this mayonnaise um that was on wash night of new year the night between the friday and saturday of new year so i made some mayonnaise and today is 21 no today is 20th okay today is 20th and you can see the mayonnaise is still fresh i didn't put it in the freezer i just put it in the refrigerator where it's cool so it's still fresh so i'm just going to miss this coleslaw i'm going to mix it really good and this coleslaw guess what is chilled because i diced it and left it in the in the fridge for some time so it's chilled so it's just going to really go well even if the fish is hot it's just going to really make it cool i like it's going to 
go well while you are eating all of this combination together so guys uh, what do you think like comment below how do you see this this platter how much okay just tell me how much will you pay for this platter if you are to order this platter before you order you definitely have like a price in mind that you think the seller is going to sell so tell me how much will you pay for such a platter mind you this fish is not even small like it's a big fish okay not the biggest but then it's a good sized fish that is why it's not looking it's not breaking okay so tell me down there like comment below tell me if you like this recipe tell me how you like it so you can see the fruit salad over there in the pack so i've already left it in the refrigerator for some time so it's really chilled it's just going to enjoy everything so tell me what you think about this platter tell me if you think this order is like reasonable because i was actually like gives the dough fish okay but then tell me what you think okay leave a comment give it a like if you really really like this video and if you are new don't forget to subscribe i love 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 you all thank you till next time